Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to part two of the How to Space Net series. Today, I'm gonna to be going everything you need to buy before you even start building your space net. Now, before I get too far into this video, very quickly, I do wanna mention that I'm gonna stick with paracord for the whole filling of it. I know uh, I've seen some space nets made out of entire am steel. I've seen others use accessory cord to fill, but I'm gonna stick with paracord strictly because it is the cheapest thing. The other two options are just way more expensive and out of the realm of this video so don't even worry about that if you have a question about that send me a direct message down below and i'll be happy to answer this video is mostly going to delve into the perimeter what we use on the outside of the space net there are a couple options you can go with and i'm going to go over all the pros and cons of each one and as well as their price difference because that can get kind of steep depending on what you pick so let's go now we're going to delve into the perimeter so for the perimeter, there are a couple options you can do. Uh, the most common three I see are am steel, span sets, and static rope. So we're gonna go over all three, go over the price difference, uh, kind of what I think the pros and cons of each one are, and yeah, let's dive right into it. So first on the list, we got some am steel. So this is some. Um, 5 8 inch M steel. It's real thick stuff. You can see this. Uh, there's a kind of cool story behind this piece of M steel, actually. I got this from my friend Cassidy, who told me they use this to move a train, like one of those big steam locomotives, at one of the Burning Man festivals. So it was well used, and I am still trusting my life to it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, let's, we'll see how that goes. But this is 5 8 inch M steel. And the MBS of this is about 210 kilonewtons, so uh, it is definitely, definitely overkill. Um, I just got this for a really good price, so it's what I'm using. Um, I think you could get away with going something a little bit thinner. Now, where I'd be careful is you're going to be wrapping paracord directly onto this, so you don't want to go with something too thin and have paracord slice right through it. So. Want to make sure you get something thick enough um i think personally that this is a great thickness the 5 8 uh yeah so this is the first option the the biggest con is it is very very expensive i like to get this stuff on go to marine and it is pricey very very pricey um now the thing i really enjoy about this is uh its weight it is by far way 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 lighter than any static rope or span set that I could ever use on the perimeter of my space net and to be honest I think it looks kind of cool I don't, I don't know that's just me though uh, so yeah this is the first thing uh, cons very expensive pros very very strong very very light so think about that um, this might be for you if you're going to be transporting your net maybe over a long distance and you really want to save on that weight. Um, it's also really nice if you're going to have a really high tension, even, although your weakest link is probably still going to be the webbing. So this is definitely overkill in terms of strength. Uh, the span sets and the static rope are super good enough. So let's move on to the next thing. Next thing that I see a lot of people using is static rope. Now, I have actually never made a net with static rope. I've made one with span sets and I've now made one with M steel and I'll be making the third one with static rope just because I've never done it. Now, static rope, um, I'd go with the with some 11 mil stuff. Now the breaking strength of some 11, some random 11 mil rope that I found was about 8,000 pounds, which is about 30 kilonewtons, which is really, really strong enough. Uh, Especially considering that most space nets I see made with static rope have doubled up legs, which is really nice. It adds it adds a layer of redundancy. And as far as cost goes, it's about 99 cents a foot. So if we're making a 10 a 10 by 10 by 10 space net, and we're gonna have each leg backed up, we need a total of 60 feet. It's about 60 dollars, which is really not bad at all. Actually, I am a fan of that. And uh, I want to say these are this is a little bit lighter than a span set. So this is kind of your this kind of your middleman, you know, not a 
not as bulky as uh, as the span set, not as light as the Am Steel. Super good enough. Uh, this seems to be what I see most often. So I'll be making my net with some static rope this time, and we'll see how that goes. I'll be able to report back when I'm done with it. But overall, um, static rope I think is the nice middle ground for building space nets, and that's that's what I would have used if I didn't get such a good deal on the Am Steel I got. And last but not least, span sets. Now, span sets are nice because they come in fixed lengths. You don't have to tie any knots in it or worry about doing anything like that. Most nets I see with with a span set though are not really backed up. It's just a single span set for each leg, uh, similar to what I did with my Am Steel net. I didn't back it up with another strand. It's just a single strand on each on each side. Uh, now some of the benefits, the biggest one being it's got this really fat polyester sheath. So uh, the sheath is really good abrasion protection because you're going to be wrapping paracord around this so you can feel a little more at ease because your inner fibers are well protected. And it's obviously really, really strong. Um, if you look at this one, it's 5,300 pounds in the vertical configuration. So it's about 20 kilonewtons. Uh, Super strong enough if you're gonna use, if you're gonna have three of them in there, kind of taking some load each one. Now, the big downside to these, I think it's kind of obvious, they're really, really heavy. Um, yeah, I would, I would go with the span sets if I was only gonna rig lines in the park, maybe with space nets, uh, or if my walk to whatever highland I'm going to be putting my space net on was very, very short. Otherwise, I wouldn't go with these. Uh, so, yeah, so those are our three things. Let's very quickly summarize. So, span sets, pros, strong, nice abrasion resistance, cons, very, very heavy. Um, rope, static rope. Pros, it's a nice middle ground. It is relatively cheap. It still has abrasion resistance because the, the core is technically protected by the sheath, but it's not as good as a span set. Overall, it's, it doesn't really have that many pros or cons. It's just a very nice middleman to the Am Steel and the span set. One of the, one of the cons to rope uh, that, that the span set and the Am Steel do not have is that this stretches a little bit more. So because it's stretching, it's gonna be a little more complicated to set up and rig you know you might have a bit of a saggy middle it just depends how how tight you rig it the first times you do it uh, but overall this has the most stretch out of the three things we just talked about so that's a definite con but other than that super good enough we're going to be going with this and we're going to see how it goes am steel pros very 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 light very 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 strong Cons, very, very, very expensive. Another con is that nothing is protected. All the, all the fibers that are saving your life are directly exposed. So you're tying the paracord directly to it. I don't have a big issue with it because it's got a very nice melting point. So I'm not too worried about it, especially if the hitches aren't slipping around, sliding and causing a lot of friction. But it is something you have to think about at the very, very least that the fibers are directly exposed. So if you accidentally cut through one of these, uh, that could be it, you know, you'd never know. So those are the three options for, uh, for the perimeter. Now, like I said, for this net, we're going to be using some static rope. I'll be buying about 60 feet of static rope and cutting that into six 10 foot pieces or three meter pieces roughly. And we're going to be making a three by three by three meter space net or a 10 by 10 by 10 foot space net. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope that was helpful. We're gonna be ordering this material very soon. And as soon as it comes in, I'll make a part three showing how I set it up. And then a part four showing how I weave and do all the other stuff at the park. So if you enjoyed this video, hit those buttons down below. They mean, it means a lot to me and it costs you absolutely nothing. Uh, leave a comment with any feedback you may have. Uh, again, this is, 
I'm not an expert at this. This is just something that I've delved into and really enjoyed over the past couple of years. And like I said, there's not a ton of information out there, so I wanna get the ball rolling. But please uh, like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe down below. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. All right, all right, so let's have a look here um, on my laptop. I got all the static rope for about 65 bucks. Got it on sale at 72 cents a foot, 90 feet. And we got the paracord, got 600 feet for 46 bucks. So you can realistically make a space in it for a little over a hundred bucks. That's not too bad.